loving all this shit right now. I'm loving all this shit. I'm loving all these people coming at DJ Academics head. I'm loving everybody putting this nigga down. And the reason why I say that I'm glad of it is because he talks so much. Yo, I've done numerous videos of this fucking idiot. Nigga, and I'm not going to bleep. Yo, don't bleep nothing out. We're not editing. We're not editing that shit out. Fuck that. Right? I We done did so much videos on DJ Academics. You know what I'm saying? Now everybody's coming for this nigga. His own nigga, Wayno, on that whack ass everyday struggle show. He finally showed me, yo, he got balls. You know, I'm not trying to dis. I like Wayno. You know what I'm saying? Wayno, he's very outspoken. He's an outspoken character. He's on his funny shit sometimes, but he he cool and all that, right? He finally came at DJ Academics. This is what DJ Academics need. He needs to know, yo, you're not in these streets. You don't know these niggas. You don't know what's be going on behind the scenes. So when he's up here joking and all that, yo, nobody's taking that seriously. You know what I'm saying? You got people like Casanova who done checked you. He's my man soldier. You got Meek Mill. Uh, you got Tory. You got so much people coming for Academics head. Right? Academics, he likes doing this stuff. And it's it's like I said, people was comparing. I said, don't compare me to DJ Academics. I don't want to be DJ Academics. The difference between me and DJ Academics, I know how to leave a computer. If you want to fight me, I'll fight you. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? DJ Academics is the type of dude, man, who would sit up at his computer. And he would talk all this junk. He don't even know what's going on. Like, I heard his uh, video about 21. Oh, I talk to their team. I talk to their team. Oh, this is what happens when you do blah, blah, blah. I had to unsubscribe to him. I was like, yo, academics used to be cool when he was coming up talking about the Chicago artists. Then when he's talking about they deaths and he's clowning all this shit. And then you talking about Vic Mensa, you know what I'm saying? And then you running to these different areas, changing your ads. Yo, come on, man. Yo, that shit corny. My thing is that I'm proud that Wayno finally standing up to this dude. I think Wayno is finally standing seen all this bullshit that academics is talking the same one of the reasons why joe button left joe don't want to admit it but i know why one of the reasons why joe joe couldn't stand dj academics in his in his little fantasy magical little bullshit you know and a lot of people was like oh you're gaining cloud off i got that but you try to gate man i don't want no cloud off no fat ass nigga named academics you know it's just that the dude is an idiot right he he does all these clickbait videos and i'll be watching him you know, I, I I be watching him, but it's like when I saw the everyday this everyday struggle interview when he was defending uh Takashi Six Nine, which he always does. He been I knew as soon as Takashi pleaded guilty and and academics is working with the feds. I don't know if niggas is stupid to see that or what. You know, Bullet Gotti and all them they be talking about ah we can't call him a rat and you know this dude is a rat. I, I respect Bullet Bullet Gotti channel right. The dude is a rat right. So. When he's talking about 6 9 you see Wayno getting frustrated with talking about, oh, this is what happened when you shouldn't be in the streets. You know, Wayno finally got up and said, yo, act, you don't know what's be going on between the streets. It's between, like, sh- real street shit and other shits that happen inside the streets. Academics is no no street type nigga. He went to Rutgers University, all right? He's not even a real, it's like, have you really heard DJ Academics do any DJ work? Like, like recently? Like, come on, like. Who has he put on in in New Jersey? Who has he put on in any of these cities? All I heard DJ Academics do was talk all this sarcastic bullshit, you know, and try to gain clout off other people. This only thing I heard. But my whole point is, man, we ain't making a long video. I'm just happy Wayno and and hopefully Nadeska will see it too. Hopefully Wayno and Nadeska. I mean, hopefully Nadeska will see that, yo, Academics is just a clown up there. I don't know if they need to just cancel the show. They need a replacement. They need some. They need somebody else. Like, Academics is good what he was doing on YouTube. Let him have his own thing, right? I understand that they're trying to make him a big thing for, for, for bloggers and all that in TMZ. Hell, he could get a job at TMZ right now and be happy with it, right? I don't think everyday struggles for this dude. If I was Wayno, man, Wayno got a, a podcast that he was doing. And he, uh, he, he's, he's good on it, you know. If I was just Wayno, I would just leave the show. I would leave like Joe did, and hopefully Nadeska would see it too. But Nadeska, she, I think she likes something that academics talking about. She loved the controversy, she loved her name and shit. Like I said, this shit just crazy, man.